it's time to see what Allison's cooking up this morning. She's with some budding chefs in De Pere this morning. Are they awake yet, Allison? You said they were a little tired. Uh, well, they're physically awake. I don't know if they're all here or not, but we're putting <laughs> them to work right away. Uh, making some, what are we making, guys? Banana muffins. Banana muffins. I got one of them, at least. <laughs> and uh, we're with Deb Johnson in your kitchen here. Why don't you tell us where we're at in our recipe? We are just starting to get all of our things ready here. We're mashing our bananas. Mm -hmm. We're going to be beating our egg. We're measuring some flour. Okay. So how are you doing here? Why don't you keep working? There. What do you, what do you, what's your job? Putting flour in. That and what kind of flour is this? Cup? Do you remember? No. <laughs> Whole wheat pastry flour. Whole wheat pastry flour. <laughs> Had you ever heard of that before? No. <laughs> and what kind is this? All purpose. All purpose, All purpose flour. flour. We're mixing. It's that. early. It's definitely early. Yep. yep. So he's okay. scooping that in there. What's your job that you have for you? the bananas. Okay. Have you ever seen bananas like this before? Yes. Yeah. Would you? What would you usually do with a banana like this? Make banana bread. There you go. All exactly. Way, See, people know the old bananas. The you top. make banana muffins or banana bread. Okay. We need to get you a fork to so beat you, your you're egg. You're going to beat your egg. There you go. So, Deb, what are the kids learning here? Why, why cook with them like this? Keep going, Well, Deb. eventually, um, I think that they're going to know how to cook themselves. And you need to start early or they get to a point where they think everyone's going to do it for them. So, ah. um, and I know in school these kids are in third grade and they're starting to learn about measuring. Um, mm -hmm. It's part of their math. So this really helps because it's a visual. Um, and that's, I know, part of Tanner's math assignments he brings home and they're supposed to measure it out when they're actually doing mm -hmm. their math assignment. Yeah. Do you think it's important for parents to cook with their kids? I do. I think it's very important. Um, we, I started my business when Tanner was young. He loved to come out here and help me. We got him a fake kitchen, a little Fisher Price fun kitchen. Keep, keep eating. Keep going. Keep eating. And uh, he, <laughs> wanted, he didn't want anything to do with it. He wanted to be out here watching the water boil. And that's, it's very exciting for a uh -huh. little kid to see. And, and, one, and, you know, why does water boil when you add heat to it? Um, I, and it's learning. really interesting. It's all learning. Are you full there? Is your cup full? And parents also need to know that yeah. if, they, if, they help, if the kids help them cook, mm -hmm. they're going to eat more. They're going to not be as picky when they're making ah, the food. Yes. They're more apt to eat it. A little more, I think. A little bit little, more. Little, and little then we need more. a knife to level to it level off. To level it off. So we're going to make our muffins. We have our tins. The kids are reading the recipe, scooping. learning all about it. And um, again, Deb actually teaches classes in home. She does a lot of Girl Scout troops and um, different things like that. So we're going to talk to her more about that, see how our muffins turn out. How do you think they're going to be? Good. Good. Of course. We made them, right? <laughs> and then the other point is that it's not necessarily the end product that's the most important, but the process <laughs> that they're learning, if you know what I mean. That's right. Uh, so we'll check in with you guys a little later. There you go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Allison. Thanks, Allison. Now we need another mm -hmm. half, right? 